Hi, you sexy biscuits, and welcome into Going Medieval. I very kindly got sent a code to this game, and it looks incredible. The game is currently in early access and is already sat at very positive only a few days after release. So it's safe to say I'm quite excited about this one. Okay, so we're going to call our settlement name Biscuit Town, because why the bloody hell not? And we're going to play on the valley, default size, and go. So my settlers are Teresa. Henry and, and Barbara. No one likes Barbara because she only makes pretzels. In the springtime of the year 1353, Teresa, Henry and Barbara set off into the wilderness to claim a piece of the land as their own. As was their right in the eyes of God and under the law, here they may lay down the foundation for some kind of future. Perhaps hope will follow. They arrived in a valley with golden plains cut through by a snaking river. For Barbara it conjured visions of bountiful harvests, song and wine. A place to put down roots, a homeland. They decided to title it Biscuit Town. <laughs> I put an extra S. Oh, God damn it. All right, welcome to Biscuit Town. Please bear in mind that this game is under heavy development. This means that the game will have some bugs and unfinished systems. You can consult the Almanac for help uh, and tutorials. Okay. Uh, camera controls, W, A, S, and D. All right. I think that's good. World layers. You can shuffle between layers. Oh, my. This seems to be a lot of layers. Wow. By using Z and X. Okay. We'll have to remember that. Uh, game speed, you can speed up the game, click on speed keys, or by pressing space, you will pause the game. I generally am quite terrible at games like this, and I like to pause and get everything set up and then let the game run. <laughs> I'll try and not do that. It's a video. I don't want to bore you all. Okay, so we can move here, we can look around, we can zoom in, and we can move our camera. Awesome! Yeah, the camera controls in this are brilliant, actually. Wow. Okay, this is kind of giving me foundation vibes right now. I probably need to get... Henry to go and use a bow, right? Um, could I get him to... Um... Oh... Uh, hang on. Okay. Nowhere to store resources. Uh, I'm sure we can fix that. Hang on. Production, butchering table. Uh... I need to find somewhere to put stuff. Default stockpile. Place a stockpile so that your settlers have somewhere to store resource piles. Okay, and then if you press that, it will open this up, press on that, and then I can drag. Oh, okay, so let's put a stockpile, like, here. Okay, um, settlers are idle, that's fine. Um, you go and start doing that. Okay, uh, Henry, you go help, and so will you, Barbara. Go, go! Okay, now they're gonna go run over there. Alright, so they're cutting down the grass that's in the way of the stockpile. That's brilliant. Oh, hang on. Plant reaping mishandled. Bloody Barbara. Every goddamn time. <laughs> They've got a little... <laughs> God damn it, Barbara. Stop ruining everything. Oh, why did I hire her? So they're going to go... Oh my God, every bloody time. I don't know how she's messing up so easily. L you're literally chopping down some grass. All right, let's make these guys do something. Could you go over here and um, start stockpiling all this stuff over there, please? And then we can build some beds. Uh, hey, sleeping bed. Let's put them under the tree. Make them all look nice. There you go. Oh, put them all together. Brilliant. Okay, that's it. You can all sleep together. Not like that. Bloody hell. Uh, not enough beds. Foods reserves on stockpile low. Well, that's because there's literally one container. <laughs> I, <laughs> do we not have more? You'd expect us to have more, right? I guess not. Um... Oh, oh, bloody hell. What, did we not actually bring any food with us? Because that's what I'm thinking is happening right now. Barbara. Barbara, hey, you. Could you go and grab this? Settlers are idle. Get a job, Barbara. What are you doing? She's just walking around, scratching her bloody noggin. What are you doing? Go and chop down a tree or something. Do, do, do stuff. Not enough beds. There's three beds. What do you mean there's not enough beds? Not enough be Oh, hang on. Ha hang on, hang on, ha hang on, hang on, hang on, Teresa, can I not, how do I make them cut down things, because that's what we currently need, we obviously need more hay to build the beds, right, so, oh, this is great, I'm really good at games like this, I'm, 
I'm so glad I played this. All right, uh, default stockpile. Well, that's where places are stored. I don't. I, I want one that is chopping down things. Right? Is that the only way that you can get stuff? Oh, hang on. Oh. I'm, I'm an idiot, don't worry. Oh no, I've made a terrible mistake. We can probably restart this, right? I, 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 oh god. Okay, so I've, I've learnt from my mistakes. We're gonna start a new game. Uh, <laughs> just put it on easy, just in case. Right, there you go. Brilliant. Uh, new life, yeah, that's fine. Um, let's, let's call it Biscuit Town this time, properly spelt. Okay, so we got, uh, let's do, uh, Lady Stephanie and, um, Lady Stephanie. Brilliant. Uh, let's do, uh, Teresa again, and, um, Bloody Barbara. Bloody Barb. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> For Bloody Barb, it conjured visions of bountiful harvests, songs, and wine. A place to put down roots, a homeland. They decided to title it Biscuit Town. Fantastic. See, look, I, oh my god, you, you do that. Yeah, I, I'm an idiot. Don't worry about me. Um, okay, we need to put down a zone for putting down stock. So we're going to place everything, like, here. They're going to go off and do that. Oh, look at them go. Oh, right, go and grab that. I'm, I'm on, like, 5 million times speed. That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> right, go and grab some more. We, we need as much as we can get our bloody hands on. Okay. There they go. They're all doing it really bloody quickly. This is great. Oh, look at my team. Oh, they're going so bloody fast, too. Basically, I'm going to get as much hay as I can, and then I can start building beds. That sounds like a good plan. Um, also, when you're finished with that, could you start stockpiling? Um, guys. Oh, you are. Okay. They're going to start stockpiling the stuff over there. Oh, look at this. Oh, brilliant. So they're going to go grab all that. Right, okay. Let's um, start getting some beds built. Um, I'm going to come over here and do this. Hang on, we could probably build an actual wall first, right? So let's start building up a... That, okay. And then, guys, if you could go and chop down some trees, that would be great. Oh, look at this! Oh, I'm liking this. This is good fun. Okay, it's definitely a lot more fast-paced than games like Foundation. Um, I'm definitely getting my head around it a bit better than I did with Foundation. Good God, I sucked at that game. Even though it was brilliant. Um, construction failed. Oh, so yes, you can fail construction, which is interesting. Okay, they're going to keep building that. Come on. Almost there. Uh, use the last bit of wood to cover up that. And then we can start building some beds. Perfect. So furniture. Let's have a bed. R rotates. That's brilliant. Okay, and we put one here and put one there. That's it. Keep going. Oh, I'm liking this. This is good fun. Okay, now the question is, though, is this going to actually keep them alive? Probably not, but we can hope, eh? Uh, wooden door. Let's put that there. Oh, look! The bed's... Oh, my God, this is great. Okay, keep going, guys. You got this. I believe in you. All right. We need to get some food. That will be uh, quite important right now, probably, right? So let's go and harvest some food if we can. And we can probably put down, like, a big old thing here yeah there you go so all of this is now collectible food and um, they'll go and do that when they need to so you kind of put down zones like you do in a game like foundation or um oh, what's that game not besieged it's um it's another kind of hardcore kind of like medieval life simulator and i can't remember the name of it really bloody good game it's kind of like that and that's not a bad thing at all that's awesome all right so they're gonna go do that and you're going to start collecting more wood to build the rest of this, right? Ah, oh, we've got our first building almost done. Do they only work on one thing at a time? Or could you get them to do multiple things? I'm not sure. We'll see. We definitely need more hay right now. So, um, guys? <laughs> guys, could you... Okay, it's fine. I'll, I'll deal with this. It's all right. Um, I can hunt animals. I can deconstruct stuff. I can cut down plants. I can mine areas. That's pretty cool. We've got a lot of food going, right? I'm sure we're good on terms of food right now. 21 mushrooms, which is bloody awesome. They're going to start working on that. We just need more hay right now. That's what we definitely need. Right, so they've stopped working for the day. Let me quickly then set up um, 
some hay collection because that's what we need right now. So guys, if you could come over here and collect all of this hay. And, and we may as well get this wood while we're here. Okay. Right. Go, go, go. I know, I know they're unhappy. I, I know. I, I know you're unhappy. It's fine. We've got this. Now our town can be attacked. So that's fun. I'm sure that's going to go really well. Uh, we are trying to sleep right now. Oh, uh, wow. You just made your bed and fell asleep. Okay. <laughs> Lady Stephanie, what are you doing? Wake up. <laughs> we could be attacked at any moment. And we're not really defended very well, are we? <laughs> I didn't even think that through. Bloody hell. Uh, guys, gu guys, wake up. Gu I need you. Hello? It's, okay. Oh, thank God it's daytime. Come on. We need to get out, we need to get out and about. And you need to get the rest of your house finished. Because right now, we're not looking too good. Okay, they're going to go and eat food. Oh, see? They're eating. Awesome. Right. Okay, that's it. Go and collect more hay so you can finish the beds. Right, they're done. Okay. Okay, so let me take a quick look around. We've got managed here. This will determine, like, what weapons and stuff they have. Oh, okay. Uh, managed headgear, managed apparel. Oh, my God, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, trying to learn all this is, is going to um, suck. <laughs> it's fine. That They're going to go do that. I'm going to build a research table if I can. To start production on something, select a workstation and add a product from the product list. Set the number of products you want to your settlers to... Okay. Um, product... Okay, hang on. Um, deconstruct. Copy. Production. What? How, how do I do that? I, I guess I can't right now. I don't know. Also, what is all this stuff? Like... What what is what is all this? What is all this? Architecture, uh, unlock. Okay, um, so now we can build better things. Awesome. So are you not like? Go, can you collect this stuff? Is that something you can do? Click on item to equip. Oh, hang on. Oh, equip fine. Oh, right. Hang on a minute then. Do I have the ability to equip any of this stuff right now? Oh, I do. No? A selected settler. No, no, I, I did that already. Look, see? There you go. Equip that. Okay, so they're going to equip that. Barb, could you come over here and grab the bow? There you get. No. Okay, skill level too low. Hang on a minute. Let's try you. No? Okay. <laughs> uh, hang on. I didn't think that one through, did I? No, none of my none of my people can do that. Okay, Barb, could you go and collect this tiny bow? There you go. I'm not trusting you with the big bow. Right, guys, that's it. Go and eat for the morning. And uh, could you go and grab that deer that I, I highlighted for you all? Um, oh, no, you're building the house right now. Okay, you guys do that then. That's fine. We probably need some way of defending ourselves because if there are going to be people attacking us, we're going to need some way of doing that. I don't know what religion they are, so let's have both. We're, we're very encompassing in this town. And let's place that there. <laughs> okay. So we'll go play with um, Stephanie. Oh, it's Barbara. Good luck, Stephanie. I I'm sure she's terrible at it. Is Teresa playing by herself right now? She is. Where does Barbara keep going? She keeps disappearing, and I don't know where she's going. Where is she? Okay, th there's something going on here. What is she doing? Oh, there she is. What are you up to? Are you out hunting? Is that what you're doing? If not, I, I suspect Barbara's up to something. She's being seriously suspect right now. Hmm. I'm keeping an eye on you, Barbara. You better watch it. Can I not do anything with this stuff then? Because this stuff's just been sat here. I guess we just leave it. Pile decomposes in one year and 16 days. This resource pile is forbidden. Settlers will not interact with items that are marked as forbidden. Oh, okay. You can allow forbidden items by using the allow order or by selecting the item and selecting allow action. Ha! Huh. Could I not make these allowable then? Hang on. Oh, there you go. They're actually doing stuff now. Right. Why is it set as forbidden? That. Oh! I could have been using this stuff from the very bloody beginning. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Right, fine. Just go. Yeah, we got bloody food here. I didn't even bloody realize. Oh my god. Right, set that as, as marked. Unforbidden, unforbidden, unforbidden. 
Oh my god, okay, right. That seems a little bit backwards. I don't know why that was the case, but there you go. It's, it's now unforbidden, so they can actually use those items if they need to. Uh, because right now, we definitely needed the hay. Well, when we started especially. What is that? Oh, is it dead deer? I think Barbara did go and kill it. Okay, that's kind of cool. So we have our first salmon kind of built up. This has got everything we... Oh, it's pissing it down. Um, does this stuff need a roof? Unroofed. Oh, right. Okay, hang on. Right, guys, could you go and work on this? Let's go make a wooden floor for all of this. And then we could put a wall around this and add a roof on top of it. Ah, see, mushrooms have rotted in the stockpile. Okay. So yeah, that definitely needed a, a roof on this, which is why we're doing this right now. Okay, that's it. Right, I'm going to speed up time a little bit. Let's get these guys working on this. Oh, they are working on this. They are working non-stop on this. Oh, so they level up construction skill by doing construction. That, of course, makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm liking this. I think this is good. I'm, I'm obviously going to have to spend a bit more time with it to kind of get my bearings on everything. Um, but in terms of how easy this game is compared to a lot of other kind of town building medieval games, this is definitely a little bit more easy to understand. Um, and it's a game that I would probably end up playing a lot more of than something like Foundation, because Foundation is very good, but it's a lot more, I don't know, it's a lot more kind of, there's, there's more stuff you have to remember and do. This is a little bit simpler not in a bad way, it's just in a way that my stupid brain will understand. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend this. So yeah, go download Going Medieval. I may do a live stream on this at some point. I think that could be quite good. If you've enjoyed this though, tell me down below and um, leave a like. And I'll be back soon with more videos. There's a lot of videos coming up this month, especially with E3 happening. I've got a couple of videos planned for the 10th, um, which are insane and you'll see i can't tell you about them but oh boy uh, <laughs> thank you again to the publisher um for giving me a code to this it does mean a lot um but anyway i love each and every single one of you thank you to all the amazing patrons who are flying down the screen right now you're absolutely incredible and i love each and every single one of you but until next time that's me out bye guys